Carefully read each problem before writing your answer. What is the value of the quantity 10,000 divided by 100 minus the quantity 10,000 divided by 1,000? Now this particular problem looks rather complicated, but it's actually very easy. I recommend you do a rewrite. For example, I can have 10,000 divided by 100 this way, minus 10,000 divided by 1,000. And the nice thing about this setup is that you can just cancel the zeros top and bottom. So this just gives you 100 over 1, which is 100. Do the same thing over here. It just gives you 10 over 1, which is 10. 100 minus 10 is 90. How many lines of symmetry are there in the following figure? A regular octagon has eight lines of symmetry. Four of them are drawn to opposite sides, like this. And the other four are drawn through opposite vertices. And when you combine the two, you get the eight lines of symmetry. Here are some reminders for when you are completing this extended constructive response task. Carefully read each part of the task before writing your response. Be sure to complete all parts of the task. Clearly explain your answer and show all your work. Carlos wrote the following sequence of numbers on the blackboard. 2, 6, 18, 54. He explained that the rule for his pattern is multiply by 3, since each number is 3 times as much as the number coming before it. Carlos's teacher then wrote a new sequence of numbers up on the board. 1, 4, 16, 64. Respond to the following questions using the pattern created by Carlos's teacher. What is the rule for the pattern? Explain your reasoning. What would be the next two numbers in the pattern? Will the number 1100 be part of the pattern? How do you know? What is the rule for the pattern? Hmm. To figure that out, ask yourself, what can you do to 1 to get 4? Lots of things. I can add 3 to it, but adding 3 to 4 will not give you 16. Hmm. I can multiply 1 by 4. Well, let's try that. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 16, hey, I think I see a pattern here, times 4 is going to be 64. So the rule is going to be, rule, 
multiply by 4. Explain your reasoning. Well, you could start off by just listing what I just did. Say run times 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is going to equal 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Then you can continue writing down a more detailed sentence. For example, therefore, each term in the sequence is four times as much as the term before it. Now you're being asked, what would be the next two numbers in the pattern? Just apply our rule. So the answer is going to be 256 and 1024. Why? Well, because it's multiplied. 64 times 4 is 256. And 256 times 4 is 1024. Finally, they're asking, will the number 1100 be part of the pattern? And how do you know? Well, to answer that, all you really need to write down is 1100 would not be part of the pattern since 1024 times 4 has a result that skips 1100. 